talking to SNAP finalist Robert Moss about his piece, The Planets. How would you define this style of painting here? I wanted to do um, a series of paintings that were sort of based on, well, I think I'd seen a lot of Canadian art from like the 30s, pre-war, kind of the between the wars kind of period, sort of muted, very sort of minimalist in a way, but re representational realist. And I felt like an urge to do that. And so I was, uh, yeah, I just put together a lot of images, working with models and, and photography to kind of capture those those moments that, in that way. And this was one of them. And it was just this idea about just a soft realism, but it's also nothing specific and just, um, it's about between the moments, you know, just the sort of, this, this sort of outside of life, just the, the big things in life and the quieter moments. And then bringing that across with a very, in my mind, very, flat, very unemotional, very minimal uh, presentation. So your so your process in this case is you you have a model and then photograph and then you you go to painting from there. Yeah. How much does the painting deviate from the photograph? Not much at all. In fact, I prefer it not to deviate at it. Sometimes I do try to change things and it it, it backfires. I, I always find afterwards I'm like that was not a that's not so I this one is exactly like the photograph and even the grain is within reason. Um, I just stuck with it, and I'll spend a lot of time getting the photograph just right. I've learned get the photograph, get the composition, and composition to me is almost everything. So get the composition right, and then even afterwards, cropping and changing things. Um, even this one, I think I cut three inches off the top of the panel at some point just after I'd started because I wanted to sort of crush her in there a little bit. Then I sort of regretted that maybe, but I'm, I'm happy with it now. But, so it's all about planning. And I, my other work I typically do is abstract, which is very, very little planning. But this, I, if you don't get it right in the beginning, it's just, it's, yeah, I, I find I want to get it all figured out and then just spend the time with the craft, which to me is, that's the enjoyable part. Uh, the title, The Planets, can you talk to me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I had another title that I was working with that I wasn't happy with. And then my friend Dara, who's walking around here, he came over one day and he said, he said these images, rem this, these shapes reminded him of planets. And I was like, oh, the planets. And then I just, in relation to that piece of music, the whole piece of music, and, I just, and, and in relation to her sort of dreaming and the idea that she's sort of floating off into space, I just asked him if I could use that for my title. And it just sort of happened one day. So that was how that came about. So titles have significance for you? Typically, I like to get a strong title at the beginning, and I, that gives me a, a direction to work to. Um, it's really important to me, yeah, the title. And if I don't have a title, I usually won't start the piece. And this was a problem because I wasn't super happy with the title, but I, I did feel strongly about the piece, so I was happy to get a title before I got too far along, yeah. Robert, thanks for talking to us tonight. Best of luck on the show. Thank you.